All right, guys, Mikey here from the Electric Scooter Guy. And guys, I got another awesome review for use today. And we're going to do one on one of my favorite looking electric scooters on the market, the Vset 11 Plus, but not the Captain America version of the Vset 11 Plus and not the Super 72 version of the Vset 11 Plus, but we're going to do one on the 42 amp hour version of the Vset 11 Plus. And it comes in this awesome gray and black color scheme, which I absolutely love. But I'm not too big of a fan of the Vissette lineup. I mean, I rode the Super 72. I have rode the um, Vissette 11 Plus. I have rode the Vissette 10 Plus. And don't get me wrong, I love the Vissette 10 Plus, but I'm not that big of a fan of the Captain America version of the Vissette 11 Plus. But when it comes to that black and gray color scheme, oh man, I think it looks badass. Now, I'm going to tell you guys what I like and what I don't like about this uh, high-powered electric scooter. And I'm going to start with what I don't like about this 42 amp hour version of the VSET 11 Plus. Because there's a lot to like. Now, you could get this scooter for $2,900 from RevRides. Uh, which ain't a bad deal because the uh, Cobble Wolf Warrior 11 Plus comes in at the same price but with a 35 amp hour battery. And this has got a 42 amp hour battery. So... Not a bad price. Not a bad price at all. And like I said, guys, let's start off on what, what I don't like about this scooter. Now, I love the fact that the Vissette 11 Plus comes with the solid handlebars, but I don't like the fact that the uh, Super 72 uh, comes, and even the Vissette 10 Plus comes with those stupid handlebars that you have to twist to tighten. And let me tell you guys something. It's the worst. They get loose, or even if you tighten them up all the way, they still, you know, have a little bit of play in it. I think any scooter that goes over about 50 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour, should have solid handlebars. That's just my opinion, guys. All right. Now, another thing that I hate about this electric scooter is the key card reader. I can't stand it. Every single time you want to start the scooter, you got to use the key card. And I also hate the speedometer. The speedometer sucks. You can't see it during the day. Um, it's got the blinkers, though, on the handle grips, which I do like. But like I said, the uh, speedometer, you can't see during the day, which really sucks. Then I also hate the sport button. I think you get two minutes of sport and then four or five minutes of no sport which is retarded. I think they should have had a turbo button and you should be able to use the turbo button whenever you want for as long as you want. I'm sure it's not going to burn the controller out. Most scooters come with the turbo button, but this, like I said, you can only use like what? Two minutes of it, but I digress. Then what I don't like is the uh, double folding clamping mechanism. You got one on one side of the double uh, stems and one on the other side. And man, what a pain in the ass. You got to constantly uh, tighten it, loosen it, tighten it, loosen it. And then you got to do the same thing for the other side. I wish they had something like the Cobble Wolf Warrior. That's the best folding mechanism on the market, in my opinion. Definitely the Cobble Wolf Warrior 11 Plus has the best folding mechanism. It does, though, fold into a nice little package, as you guys can see. It's, uh, that's the difference between this and the Kabu. When you fold the Kabu, my God, it grows like 10, 11 inches. So this is a nice little portable package, just like my Dualtron Ultra 2. Uh, now, I'm going to tell you guys what I like about this electric scooter. Because like I said, there's not much to uh, not like about this electric scooter. Uh, love the kickstand. Love the double uh, spring suspension in the back. I wish it was adjustable, but uh, it's definitely better than the Cobble Wolf Warrior's rear suspension with those horrible suspension cartridges. So definitely love that. And like I said, like the kickstand, the kickstand is nice and thick, not like uh, my Dualtron Ultra 2. The kickstand is like a friggin' pencil. I don't know why they would make a uh, scooter that's almost 100 pounds with a skinny little pencil kickstand. But this kickstand... Looks very good, except for that little thing that's poking out, because that can really hurt your uh, legs, especially when you have shorts on. That's the worst. The Kabu is the same way, with that thing popping out of the side of the kickstand. It's freaking horrible. All right, guys. The one thing that I absolutely love about this electric scooter is the kick plate. <clears throat> I hate the kick plate on the Kabu Wolf Warrior 11 Plus. I just feel like it's going to break. This is nice and sturdy. I think it's metal or aluminum. 
and it's connected to the rear suspension. Love it. Absolutely love it. And it's pretty comfortable as well. Then it's got the uh, motorcycle hydraulic suspension in the front, just like the Kabu, except for it comes with uh, forged forks. The Kabu Wolf Warrior comes with cast forks. And that's one thing that I'm going to change on my Kabu Wolf Warrior 11 Plus. I'm going to put the forged forks on that say Kabu on the side. I got to say, this uh, scooter might be made a little bit better than the Kabu, though. Look, guys, you see this pin right here? Uh, this pin holds the suspension and everything in. Look at it. It's stainless steel. It's stainless steel bolt, stainless steel screw. That ain't breaking. But guess what? The Cobble Wolf Warrior 11 Plus, I already broke that screw that holds in the suspension. Cracked it in half. So, in my opinion, I think that this scooter is made a little bit better. It's got all stainless steel parts to it. It just looks more rugged, in my opinion. I mean, check it out, guys. And it's got nut brakes. It's got the nut brakes with the 160 millimeter rotors. The Cobble Wolf Warrior 11 Plus only has 145 millimeter rotors. I mean, I guess it comes down to, you know, which scooter you like better. And I could honestly say I think I like the Cobble a little bit better. But uh, I don't know. It's a very close. It's very close between the two scooters. And. My Kabu has, um, which we call it, zoom brakes. This has nut brakes. And I could honestly tell you nut brakes are a lot better. My Dualtron Ultra 2 has nut brakes. Oh, they're so much better than the zoom brakes. It's not even funny. So that is definitely, definitely awesome. The Vicep 10 Plus, uh, some of them do come with nut brakes, but I haven't really seen a lot of them with nut brakes. Then it's got one of the brightest headlights, just like the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus. And I know I keep comparing the two, but it's the closest scooter to compare this scooter with, the Cabo Wolf Warrior. And the Cabo headlight, I think, might just be a little bit brighter, but this is really bright. Then what they did was they um, moved the uh, charging ports to the front part of the deck, and they made them waterproof. Um... It doesn't really get in the way of your footing. It's right in the middle, so you're not going to step on it or break it. And I think it's uh, rubber, so it should stay pretty good. I like that feature. I like it better than being on the uh, side of the scooter. Uh, then I also like the uh, fenders on the front and the back. Uh, they look like they uh, catch the water pretty good. I'm not too sure because I never rode it in the rain. But I do like the uh, fenders front and back. The blinkers suck. You, I mean, they're horrible. They're like on the le uh, the side of the scooter. You can't really see if you're making a left or a right. Uh, my Cobble Wolf Warrior 11 Plus doesn't even have blinkers. And the horn, oh, uh, the horn is pathetic. The Cobble Wolf Warrior horn is way, way louder. The horn on this is pathetic. And it's got like a high pitch to the horn. And if you beep it around dogs and shit, they go crazy. They go absolutely crazy. So guys... Those are the things that I like about this scooter, and those are some of the things that I don't like about this scooter. And it comes with the 60 volt, 40, like I said, 60 volt, 42 amp hour battery with a 40 amp controller. Supposedly it'll do 85 uh, kilometers. That equals 52 miles per hour. And like I said, it's got all stainless steel bolts and screws, and I think it might be made a little bit better than the uh, Cabo Wolf Warrior. But, anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Which scooter do you think is better? And do you agree with me on some of the flaws and some of the uh, perks of this electric scooter? Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, just tickle that uh, subscription button. Tickle that like button. Mikey from Mikey from uh, the electric scooter guy. Sorry, I was going to say Mikey from Mikey's Iron Rage because that's my other uh, channel. Peace out, guys.